and we're on to Arbor reassembly and reinstallation. So I've got the Arbor here uh, up in a vise, putting a little machine oil on the bearing. Uh, this Arbor, the, uh, there's no spacer before the bearing in this case, depending on what year Unisol you have. Uh, they may be, uh, may be a small spacer there or not. In this case, the bearing goes first, so I have a pipe that's sized for the ins inner race of the bearing. Um, and just working my way down, and uh, that's all set now. Just checking, making sure everything's all fully seated. You can tell it's fully seated when the sound changes. It goes from like a tink, tink, tink to a thud. And now I've got the arbor bracket um, in the vise and just putting a little machine oil in um, the, uh, the casting here and then the bearing on the, uh, the one end of the casting and this time I'm using the outer race because that is what is uh, where the pressure is in this case the outer race uh, is a uh, press fit along the, uh, the, the uh, casting here and then I've uh, got the spanner nut to hold the bearing in place Getting that all tightened. And then when that's tightened, now we're going to start to feed the arbor through the arbor bracket. Uh, so after the bearing uh, goes a spacer, and then I'm putting the key in the keyway. And then there's also a thrust washer that will go on that side right there of the arbor assembly. Sorry, I'm in the way there. In a minute, I'll get to the other side. So it goes um, this. Unisaw from this era uh, used the extended race bearings, so there's just two spacers. Um, they changed it a few times through the years, but basically it's it's the same basic idea. And so I'm using a piece of wood here to try to pound that in. I've got the uh, shiv in the middle there, uh, the pulley, and then I realized I made a mistake. Uh, on these old setups, the spacer does not fit if you do it that way. You've got to put the spacer um, and the pulley in the opening and then feed the arbor through. And then I'm trying to get that thrust washer actually up in the housing there. Eventually it'll get everything lined up and start working its way through. Make sure everything's aligned. Don't want to force anything. And we're working our way. Sometimes they, they're easier than others. This one was a pretty tight fit. Now once that's fully seated, again you can hear the sound change when you uh, when it all gets fully seated. Now I'm um, putting the keyed washer and the nut on the other end of the arbor. Got to find a way to get that pulley to catch there so it doesn't spin with the ratchet. I use a uh, Allen wrench in the set screw hole, and then it catches on the arbor bracket, and then I can get that fully seated. Just checking to make sure everything spins freely, and then I'll um, also make sure the set screw that holds the pulley in place is all set. And so there you have it, arbor reassembly. Now reinstallation. So we've got the keyed shaft, and again a little machine oil to keep everything nice and smooth. I'll put the key in the keyed shaft. I pulled the motor bracket up so that this uh, arbor bracket can get into position and does not hit the, um, the front trunnion bracket. And I'm going to work my way on here and then use a wooden, mallet, uh, wooden block and a hammer. checking to see that it's uh, aligning with the worm gear properly. And now we'll just check it out and make sure that uh, it moves smooth, smoothly all the way in the full range of motion. And now it's about time to put the top back on.